Hi, this is Psycho Vag from Vanguard here with a uh, three game guide and mastery on the infamous Soviet tier 10 tank destroyer, the Object 263, aka the YOLO wagon. Oh my god, I love this tank. <laughs> it is the most troll tank in the game, flat out, I think. And I don't mean troll for you, I mean troll for the Reds. I hate seeing it on Reds, it's a good player in it, it's just a nightmare. Anyway, um, some of my more crueler but uh, more honest friends who, uh, in game who I platoon with would probably describe my playstyle as just flat out YOLO. And that's why I love this tank so much because I, I play it like I want to play every tank in Blitz, which is drive flat out towards the nearest red, shoot them, dash it, dish out the damage, and basically try and win the game. So, anyway, my favourite tactic with this tank, it's really fast as we'll, we'll see in the stats. So it's basically just run with the meds and then bully the enemy meds so I can see A is being capped now. So I'm just going to try and uncap it. T54, easy target. He's really going to struggle to, to hit me, but I take I take one big hit there. Uh, we're surrounded. Anyway, Leo PTA, no trouble at all, straight in the turret. I know it's not got any armour, but you'd be surprised how many bounces you get when you play the Leo PTA with a few, few angles. Anyway, that T54... <laughs> Oh my god, why is he sitting there? He's got a YOLO wagon and uh, he's got another, uh, the, the Chinese one who would just dish out the pain. So anyway, I'm just going to try and keep my distance. It's a really difficult target to hit from range. So I'm just trying to keep away and there we go. We get the kill. We're going to uncap the base. I know there's a red in front of us. I know there's some reds on the hill. But I'm confident we're in the low ground there. I can hide from the, uh, I think it's a grill out on the, uh, over the river. And we've got the meds up to our right hand side. Good, good cover from the WZ. And the grill, he is playing a very, very wise game there and just backing off into cover. Um, I don't want to rush him because he can really smash me. So what I'm going to do, slightly risky there, just backing out. And I'm going to try, now we've uncapped A, I'm going to try and get around and get up the, the main hill to Castilla. And just try and take those meds out of the game. Main thing is though, we've got a base running, we've got the timer running, we've got supremacy points. Uh, we're down 2-1 unfortunately. Uh, IS-7 gone down, which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, let's go and uh, we'll just see if we can take out some of these guys. Uh, the main problem with the object, it does, it really does everything, is just the gun depression. It's got absolutely appalling gun depression. So you really do need to play it um, almost like a Soviet medium. So um, using the low ground, etc. and um, peeking out of cover and using that troll frontal armour. There we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Tiny bit of the uh, the enemy object 263. The, the gun on this is just outrageous. Um, 0.29 or something like that, gun dispersion. It's basically you've got the gun of a Leopard 1 um, with absolutely crazy DPM and armour as well. So really, what's not to like? This is risky, this is probably a little bit silly really, just to make sure, I'm just trying to make sure I get the kill, but I'm exposing my sides. Um, I could see the reds there and I knew I'd be shielded from them by the, the buildings. A um, little bit crazy, but there you go, that's the yellow wagon. Just go a little bit of... <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, as I said, it really, really suits that play style of just, just go for it. So anyway, uh, we're level on tanks, uh, well ahead on points, which is nice. Um, just go in. no, we've got three left. Oh, nice. There we go, the enemy WZ. We'll see if we can go and finish him off. Three tanks left. Uh, I'm not going to bother with a cap because we've already got one base running. Let's just see if we can finish off these guys. Uh, looks like they're running away from me. Everybody fears the YOLO wagon. <laughs> Even a YOLO wagon fears the YOLO wagon. Uh, greens are doing a great job though. Let's have a look. Bit of HE and bang. So that's four kills. Um, fortunately, a raisin eye is not on the cards here, but we might be able to get both of these. They've got quite a bit of health, but let's see what we can do here. So let's go for the Wee Z first of all. So probably could have gone for HE, but we've still got a great roll of 510. Right, I'm going to ignore the, the tort now and just finish this guy up. There we go. So that's uh, five kills. And the tort now. Who's going to win the DPM battle? <laughs> not the tort. Anyway, he's a one shot now, let's just wait, come on, come on, come on, and bang, six kill pulls, look at that, one base capped, that was just super fun, I love this tank, 
So anyway, first class, as you can see, um, just under 1400 base XP. You're going to need a lot more XP than that to get a mastery in this tank. Um, I think a nice game actually, nice team, and my stupid playstyle as you can see. I think if that damage had been done to more tier 10s that probably would have been a mastery. Anyway, let's have a look at the Blitz Compare. Main thing, look at the DPM, 3600, and that's with the calibrate shells. Closest one is just under 3000, it is absolutely nuts. Oh sorry, it drops to 3000 with the um, APCR as well, so you've still got more DPM with the APCR, it's crazy. Um, nice useful 460 alpha as well. Uh, aim time, just about the lowest there is. And look at that dispersion, 0.29, it's, it's better than the, the object 268. Your depression is only four degrees. That's that's the, the the downside with this tank, really. But look at the speed, fifty five k's. It just does the business. It is flat out bloody brilliant. Okay, so the second game, uh, Middleburg. This uh, map really really suits this tank. If you go the city, um, in fact you can you can do the business up on the high ground as well. Um, but I'm going to push here. Looking at the reds, they've got a few TDs, heavies, etc. So we know we're going to get a bit of action in town. I'm just going to rush flat out as fast as I can, going YOLO again, and take B. If the reds are cheeky, they'll pop out and see if they can decap it. So anyway, I can see greens, they're all coming with us, which is good. And it looks like they're pushing left to A while we take um, B. There we go, we've got B. C's being capped, the red meds. And I'm just going to hang back a little bit behind this T T110 too much and look at that easy straight in the top of the t57 he's got a, a, a pretty decent armor profile and he's a heavy so I'm just gonna let him take a little bit of the heat um, he is he's playing a bit of a cagey game but there you go and, oh look at that that's an IS-4 looks like he might well be AFK um, everyone seems to be ignoring him but let's just keep let's keep tracking this guy and look at that DPM it's just pummel 450, 500, absolutely no trouble at all. And that is a Soviet, I mean, look at that, just under 600. And that's with AP, I, I do run the calibrated shells as I say. Absolutely no trouble at all, just smashing them. Anyway, here we go, next target. IS-8, easy. And IS, oh look, another lovely target. Let's see if we can get a, a drive wheel, perhaps. And track them in place, and we do. So we'll get a fair bit of assistance damage here. But he's surrounded by his... Oh, there you go. So I don't really do much to him at all. Death Star now, next victim. And let's see what we can do here. So we hit him, get a 500. 5-1. Five uh, it's just a solitary back chat. And, oh, he took a nasty smack from the object there. No idea how he got in, that into us from this range. He might actually have been firing down onto the top. Um, if you can fire down onto the top of the object, you can get pretty much anything into the open uh, compartment to the rear. But look at that. <laughs> Sights you want to see in game at the back of a bat trap. Uh, so there you go, four kills. I really want the fifth kill there. Um, we've cut the base. You know, I, I don't think there's enough for, us, uh, for a uh, mastery in this game. But we, we've had a decent game so far. We were lucky, yes, with the IS-4. But again, I'm just going to try and keep to the low ground now, as I said, with this gun depression. Um, it just gets it a bit troll with only that four degrees. So anyway, full health object. I'm really confident I can take this guy out. Um, oh, that's my own fault. However, look at the ram. We did 150 damage just ramming him. Oh god, so unlucky with that fire. He's doing good now. Uh, we're almost, almost the win on the points. Just really, really want to get this kill if we can. There we go. Let's go for. Oh, just a bit more time, and he gets a bounce. No, so we only get the four kills. Um, that was a really, really fun game. Um, 1500 XP, that's that's pretty decent. A lot of tier 10s, that would be a mastery, but not in the object. Um, so anyway, yeah, good little game. And have a look at Armour Inspector. This is an object 268, uh, only really by... So you can see wiggling, that's the way to play this tank. Because it looks like you can pen, but you can't. Really, the only two places you're going to pen frontally are the lower glasses, or oh, just that strip there I'm looking at now, but you need a little bit of elevation. And as I said, if you keep wiggling, nothing's going to go in. But you really, really need to protect that lower glasses, because if you don't protect the lower glasses, then you get some idiot in a Death Star who loads Hesh 
and takes a cheeky blind shot on your lower plate. Uh, there, I think, and then, oh, look at that. 1,100 of your finest hit points, please. So as long as you can protect that lower plate, you're okay, really. Right, last game. This is on a rock field. Um, this is a bit of a tougher map for this tank because there's lots of slopes and hills, etc. Uh, the, the, the flatter bit that really suits it, as I said, um, you know, the flat ground suits this tank where you can wiggle. You've got to, and you'll see in this game, I'm wiggling like bilio the whole time, and I get so many bounces. So I know if I push left here, look enough, the team do. Well, most of the team do seem to, to come with it, which is good. But it's, the, it's on the far left, the low ground behind the central hill. That's a really, really great spot for this tank because you, you can't be flanked unless somebody comes all the way around the back and then they're opening um, themselves up to your TDs who are going to be hopefully hanging around here. So I'm just going to try and push left. I'll throw in a little jink in case anybody's uh, spotting from the corner. And there you go. So you're not going to beat the mediums into position, but you, you can just get into the low ground and get away from them. So this is the spot I'm talking about, and look, this is where we're going to do the business. See? Bounce. Okay, <laughs> nice ram from behind by the E15. Uh, let's just see how many of the guys we can get tracks, etc. Oh. Again, oh, another bounce. So basically, you see my style is fire, wiggle, try and protect that lower, lower glasses. Uh, that's my own fault. I tried to swing around and just got blocked by the E50. Not, not, his, not his fault, really, that's mine. Take a nasty smash there, but... Oh, where that went, I've no idea. It didn't seem to track him anyway, just zero. Uh, can crooked. Anyway, let's go for the track and miss. Nice 500 damage though. Uh, this ice 8's getting pummeled, so let's carry on wiggling, see if we can we can do some more damage to him. Oh, another shot vanishes, but I get some luck there. And as you can see, we get another bounce. Right, this ice 8 is time to hashtag delete him. He's gone. Do take a bit of a punch in there from the, the scent, but we need to remove them from the game now, so let's get rid of them. We've got the other greens are on the high ground, so they're, they're covering us nicely now with two all up. Two one. Okay, and we've got this little beastie here, but you see, oh, no trouble at all with AP. And that is a beast of a tank, that tier 9 heavy. Okay, little team, <laughs> look at that, can you believe that went in? Oh, I was traversing full speed and just fired and got it anyway. 4-2 up, 4-3, gone for the track on E100, uh, hoping the team come to take him out. So we've got IS4, E100 left, go for one into the turret of the IS4, but no joy. And the E100, he wants the vag, he's coming to roll me over and get some H into the top of my uh, loader's bay. Anyway, get one into him, and oh, he's trying to get down onto me, but he gets smashed by the T30, and look, bang! straight through the front of his turret. That is why I love this tank. Crazy. Okay, so IS4, look, almost full health, and we're just gonna delete him now. So, Trek. There you go, gets one from the side. Let's go, see if we can get another Trek. Oh, we've got another Trek. <laughs> Let's go for APCR, gold noob, just to make sure. He wants it, he wants it, but he couldn't get his gun down, he's dead. Uh, now we've got almost full health T62, but we've got our green T30 is a one shot, our E100 is a one shot, and I'm about a two shot. So anyway, let's go, see if we can get a track. Oh, I've just missed. Good word by him, he, he does a good job actually. He took out the T30. Our E100, what the hell he's doing, I've got no idea. So anyway, we've got him. I'm just trying, I've got to stay in front of him. He gets behind me, I'm dead. This E100 is doing nothing. Ah, oh, he's almost got it, he's still one shot. And oh, he's going behind me, but look, I just pull him back to increase the distance. Increase, uh, reload, reload, reload. Oh, yes! There you go. Five kills. So we had, what, six kills, four kills, five kills. Um, that is how you play an object 263. Wiggling, DPM the hell out of the reds, and there you go, mastery. 6k, uh, 1678 XP. It's a, a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant tank. It is so much fun. Um, yeah, go, go play it if you haven't. I love it. Um, this is my first mastering. You can see 1550 XP. So um, the first class of Middleburg wasn't far off a mastery. But uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.